When it comes to the job search, knowing what you want is vital for success. Now, whilst this might seem counterintuitive, the starting place is to understand what you don't want. Assessing your feelings and why you have them in your current job will answer this for you. Make a list of your frustrations and then consider the reason for each frustration. For example, you might have become increasingly frustrated with your daily commute to the office. Write down daily commute. Then consider why you were frustrated with the daily commute. Perhaps it's because you've spent a couple of days working from home and realize that you're more productive and that it gave you more freedom. Maybe a frustration is that your daily tasks have become repetitive. The reason for that frustration might be that you're experiencing boredom and need a new challenge. Perhaps there's an opportunity to learn or lean into what you're good at. Perhaps you've reached expert status in your role and have stopped learning. It might be that you feel increasingly stressed. The stress might be caused by not enjoying work because the projects don't seem to play to your strengths. It could be that you simply feel uninspired and question the meaning of your contribution. Whilst frustrations at work are very personal, the root cause tends to be related to one or more of these three reasons. The first, boredom, which encompasses not playing to your strengths and lack of learning. Second, the yearning for meaning. And third, the need for freedom. If thinking about frustrations leaves you blank, try asking yourself three questions. What do I find boring in my job? How do I contribute to the greater good with the work that I do? How free do I feel in my job? To feel fulfilled in your next role, you need to eliminate the frustrations, otherwise they will resurface. And so translate your listed frustrations into positives for your new job search. The frustration from boredom becomes a need for a new challenge. What could that challenge be? Is it within the same industry? Is it a progressive step to learn a new skill? The stress that you're experiencing by neglecting your strengths becomes a need to focus on what you enjoy. What are your strengths? You know, when people ask for your help, what do they ask for? The lack of learning becomes a need to learn. What are you curious about? What do you want to learn? Perhaps it's related to the new challenge that you crave. Is it a subject matter that interests you? Perhaps you want to be a leader or manage a team. Maybe you no longer want to manage a team, but want the time to learn more deeply about a subject. Feeling uninspired and the need for meaning raises the question, well, what would inspire you now or in your next role? What would make you feel that you would be making a difference? The commute frustration becomes you want a job where you have the freedom to work from home. You know, are there other freedoms that you crave? In listing out the positives from your frustrations, you start to build a picture of the new elements you need in a job. Sit with these elements, question them, expand on what they look like. You'll start to form a picture of a role and the key pillars. Try not to get into the level of job title detail because this can be really restrictive. The same job can have many different titles. Aim to get clear on what you need because it will help you tailor your job search, saving you time. It will also help you to effectively articulate what you're looking for in your CV and communicate your needs with recruiters and prospective employers. 
get to know your frustrations and pull out the wisdom to help you find a fulfilling next job.